My name is Liz, I'm 21 years old and I came from Canada. Um, I've been in Kenya for three months now and I've enjoyed my experience. Hi. I'm from Canada, from the University of Waterloo and I'm here, well I've been here for three months. And uh, when I first came I was really nervous to be honest with you. I wasn't, I wasn't very excited to come to Kenya. I was really scared. Um, a lot of my friends and peers filled my head with scary things about oh well this is gonna happen to you and oh well you should be worried about this and have you taken this pill and have you heard about this rare disease and before coming here um, I didn't really have too many expectations I'm normally a type of person that tries not to expect too much and just kind of let it be and see what happens um, and that's the kind of mentality that I have throughout so um, so when I came um, everything I can't say it's not what I expected or like because I didn't really have any expectations but um, I remember the first day since we arrived at night it was like I didn't know where I was it was a bit scary at first um, and actually the first thing I noticed when I when we were driving from the airport was um, the number of people that were on the streets at that night at that time and we were probably around here at 10 I think so it was that was the probably the first shock I had coming um, but then I think the other thing I noticed was so that fear was immediately gone the next day so I remember first arriving to the apartment it was like okay I don't know if I could do this we'll see um, and then the very next day, as soon as we went out and came back, that was like my safety net. The, the place was like my safety net, even though the very night before I was just like, I don't know, nervous. Um, and um, all, all of my inhibitions disappeared the moment I, I actually put my feet on the ground and got here because I realized that there were so many amazing people that were here to greet me and to, to look after me and embrace me into their community. Um, so while I've been here, I've been doing a few different things. I've been working at um, a few different schools doing some teaching to elementary school students as well as doing some uh, rehabilitation work and working as a social worker. And in terms of um, the work, um, I knew it wasn't going to be related to what, I was, what I'm studying which is kinesiology. Um, we've, we've been teaching, doing some home visits um, and running some programs like debates and economic empowerment, um, which is completely different from what I know, especially because I was running the economic empowerment program, so it w it's like I have no knowledge on business, but that was the challenge that was given to me, and I took it on, and I think I did okay, we'll see. <laughs> I've enjoyed all the experiences. The one thing that I really liked was doing home visits, because I got to enter the homes of some of the, the kids who live in the slums and I think that a lot of people don't realize that they come from families and there are people who are there to support them and it's just trying to find out what ways the communi community can support them in those kinds of endeavors and how everyone can be embraced in that community. Um, some of the things I've found hard to deal with since I've come here um, you get a lot of attention <laughs> being, being a, a white female um, a Muzungu, as we love to call them in Kenya, <laughs> and uh, it's at times overwhelming, but at times it's really fun to walk down the street and say hi to so many friendly little kids. So it's been a, a mixed, a mixed feeling about that. Um, another thing that's been kind of hard to deal with, and something that I didn't really appreciate existed to the extent that it does before I came, was um, corruption and the many different facets in which you find it. So, for example, uh, you might think that. Only, it only exists in the government, but the fact that I have to pay 2,000 more shillings to get into, a, to get into a, a national park than a Kenyan, it presents a different side of the same story. So I've, I found it interesting to explore the different ways that that is a, an issue in Kenya. Um, the greatest thing I'll miss um, will be the people, of course, um, the hospitality that we get from all the Kenyans, you know, you, you meet someone for the very first time and they, they invite you in to their homes, they invite you in for tea, you end up staying for supper, <laughs> you end up getting invited to stay overnight, um, but you just met them. Um, so it's definitely the people um, that I'll miss the most and just 
I guess the the lifestyle as well. Like I, I think my the most favorite thing like is the matatus. Yeah. Like that's it's so it, at first it seems so disorganized, but when you now kind of understand that it's it's run by all these different people, but it's so it it works so well. Like it's not like in Canada where it's like oh the government's like they've created the system and it's like all by time. Um, there's a specific price, but here it's it, I don't know. <laughs> I think the tattoos are, it, it's something so messy, but also so Yeah, perfect. absolutely. Yeah. I think, um, especially coming from the West, a lot of people get the, the perception that, um, that maybe that Africa is a lost cause or that, um, or that it's, it's, it's too much for one person to handle. And I think you have to come with realistic expectations. When I came here, I, I didn't expect that one white girl was going to save the world. And uh, I think that's one thing that's really been able to keep me level-headed through the whole thing. Even if I made one kid smile one day, that, that's enough for me because even if someone came to my house and I was in a rough place and they made me smile that one day, I'll remember them and I'll take that forward. Um, so I think also being realistic about what you want to come here to accomplish and not thinking that you can, you can move the earth by yourself because there's a lot of people here already trying to do it, so why not join them in their in their battle. Um, yeah. Like when I first came in, people always asked, oh, what are you going there to do? And it, or why did you want to do this program? It's not so much that I wanted to, it for, you know, my CV or um, to like go and save Africa. Um, it was more, I wanted to immerse myself in, in a new culture, learn about that culture, live like, um, like Kenyans. Um, and I think that's what I got most out of, of this program, was just experiencing so much about Kenya. Yeah. And not so much about, like yeah, I learned some from the work, but I think it's more the interaction that you have with the people.